What's up guys, your agent Tyler Waverong here and today we're going to be doing a subscriber shout out video and answering a question from a new subscriber here. So shout out to at CYN8733 at, uh, is it Cindy, Cynthia, Cin uh, Cinderella? I don't know. Let us know in the comments what, what, your, uh, what your name is there so we can give you a proper shout out. But uh, at CYN uh, sent me a great question and a lot of folks have reached out with the same exact question along the way and she I think we helped her avoid a pretty significant uh, conundrum that she could have put herself in if she would have just moved forward with this HELOC that she almost opened up. So I want to talk to uh, talk to you guys through about uh, how we kind of thought through this process, how we helped her out, and um, hopefully it helps you as well if you're thinking about opening your first HELOC. If you're new here, I'm Tyler Wayrung, author of the book Unlocking Millions, the ultimate guide to using and investing with the HELOC. You can buy the book on the link below or just check out lots of my videos. I put all this out for free. Uh, uh, the book is just an outline and puts everything in an organized fashion. So with that being said, let's hear what CYN asked us. So she says, uh, first, what a great video. I was just approved for $136,000 HELOC at 10% interest. Congratulations. I'm so nervous because the money will be available up front with a monthly payment of $1,500. I'm going to pause there for a second. So what we found here is, and this happens with a lot of HELOCs and it's kind of shady business, right? They will make you, upon approval of this HELOC, they will make you take out a portion of that approved HELOC amount. They'll make you take that right up front at closing so that they can start charging you interest right away, which is what she's saying. She's saying they're going to be available up front with an immediate monthly payment of $1,500. That would make me nervous too. The whole reason for getting a HELOC is to have those funds available when you need it, but not paying interest on that when you don't need it. If you wanted the money right up front, you probably would have been better off with a cash out refinance. All right. If you want to know more about how to compare and contrast what is right for you, a cash out refinance versus a HELOC, check out this video up here where I deep dive into that analysis. Analysis. Uh, okay, so she talks about it being available front. So her question is, if I accept the offer, can I pay it off faster without a fee? All I wanted to use was a down payment for another house for $40,000. I owe $80,000 on current mortgage. What are your recommendations and advice? Okay, here. So basically what we talked about here is if you only want the 40, there's no need to take out a bigger portion here. So can you pay it off faster without a fee? I'm going to answer that question first. The question is, you need to ask your lender that because while you typically do not have prepayment penalties on HELOCs, every lender can have their own unique flavor and twist on their particular version. So you want to make it crystal clear from your exact lender who's giving you this loan that there's no fee associated with paying this off early. Now, why would you pay it off early is just to avoid that interest until you actually need that money. For example, she would close on this loan and get this $40,000 hit put into her account. Then she would immediately pay it back off down to zero so that she could use it how a HELOC is supposed to be used. Let it sit there and not bear interest until you actually need those 40,000. Until you find that house that you're going to put the money down on, don't pay interest on your HELOC, okay? So that's ultimately what I told her here. I told her to confirm with them. Uh, and then she says, thanks for the reply. It's one of those that you mentioned. I denied $136,000 and only accepted 40000 because I was nervous with met messing with that much money until I got more educated. Uh, accepted $40,000 and will resend as soon as I get it and utilize what I need. What are your thoughts? Um, Let's see here. She also has another great question that I want to make sure we get to. Um, I asked her, did you sign it yet? Because I'm like, oh, let's pause on this thing. Uh, she have not signed anything yet. Thank the Lord. Um, I'm only in the notary position. They did a soft pull on my credit, which is pretty common. Um, although, um, if you are just reaching out to lenders, tell them that you have whatever credit score you think you have before while you're learning about all their you know, bells and whistles of their HELOC and then only let them do that soft pull once you're ready to move forward with them. Um, not a big deal here. Um, she's likely going to reach out to some others and didn't do any harm there, but I just try to avoid giving out my social um, unless we really want to move forward on something. So now here's the part I want to get to. I just chose the amount of 40K because closing was $1,000. If I chose the 130K option, closing was $5,000. I don't want to use anything until I'm ready. So I'm a big proponent of finding free HELOCs, free to open HELOCs. You should not be paying closing costs to open your HELOC. If anything, maybe 150 or no more than $250 in maintenance fees uh, are typically associated with opening your HELOC account. 
a thousand dollars is is easy to be insane. Um, and five thousand dollars, you're you're out of your mind. You'll likely pay less closing costs than that to do a full cash out refinance, and in that sense, you would be a lot less than a ten percent interest rates. So. I did tell her, stop what you're doing, throw this bank in the garbage, the whatever, you know, uh, tell them to go piss off or something, um, because that's a horrible product and they're just taxing you on those closing fees. So I told her to reach out to find, um, do, do the research and watch this video here. I teach you all about what questions to ask HELOC lenders and to reach out to at least three. I also give you a document in there you can print out and use to evaluate them apples to apples before you decide on the HELOC you want to move forward with and a big question on there is are there any fees associated with opening this account and you should always go with one that has no fees associated right the whole point of getting a HELOC is it's very streamlined minimal risk to you you're opening this account up in case something happens uh, either a bad scenario or a great opportunity that you can have cash to take advantage of that with when you decide to do it if you don't decide or you never decide to use that money you should not be paying interest on that right so that's why you would use a HELOC over a cash out refinance, which are the two primary methods of pulling equity out of your home. So at Cynthia, uh, excuse me, at CYN, I appreciate you reaching out and having this dialogue with me on here and hopefully helping out lots of other folks who may be in your same situation, save that $1,000 and be able to pull out the whole amount of your equity, not just the limiting down to the 40000 because that's all you want to pay for up front. You want to get the HELOC for as much as you feel comfortable getting um, and letting that sit there not paying on it until you actually need it. But guys, if this helped you at all, I would appreciate a like, subscribe, or share with someone else who might get value out of this. And as you can see, I answer all of my own comments. I'm a small channel, just trying to help you guys out. I get nothing from this other than uh, a few dollars if you buy my book. So if you have other HELOC questions or just real estate finance in general questions, drop them in the comments below. I will answer them either video chat like this, if it's more in depth, or a simple answer or point you to another video if I've already answered that particular question. But with all that, I appreciate you hanging out today. With that, I'm Tyler Wayrun, and we'll catch you next time.